Juliana Avdeva, you first uh, arrived yesterday to Finlandia Hall. Which building looked nicer to you, this one or the Finlandia Hall? Oh, please, that's not a fair question. <laughs> I have to say that both buildings are nice, but they're very, very different also in the spirit, I, I, I have to say, because today I was in the, in the concert hall of the uh, music center, and that's absolutely, actually fantastic hall. It looks very, well, it looks nice and it sounds, sounds good, and I'm very happy that tomorrow I will have a chance also to get to the audience place, so uh, maybe for the second half of the concert, so that I also have an idea how it sounds, not only how it sounds on stage, but also how it sounds in the in the audience. And this is um, what I'm actually very excited about, just to find out how it really sounds, because I heard so many so many things about this hall from very different musicians. You have probably also played in the same kind of halls that the audience is around you. Are yes, they... there are several, several con big concert halls which are built in the, in the same style, let's say, yes. Does it differ somehow to, to compare to them? No? Actually not. Well, for, for me, I don't know what I'm also, what I'm also asking myself how, because I, me personally, I never, I was never sitting, let's say, backstage, yes, so that mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just wondering how it sounds, how it sounds there, if the people really have also if they have a good quality of sound still there, or it's more like, I don't know. But maybe tomorrow also during the rehearsal I will walk, the orchestra rehearsal, I can walk around and really listen how it, how it, it, how it really is. You have succeeded in many international competitions. What is the most important thing you have learned by competing? What do you think? Wow. Um, I think there are there are positive and negative sides in, in competitions in, in general. I think on one hand competitions can really uh, can learn you to, for instance to prepare in a certain period a concrete repertoire which is completely new. Then I think what is also what is also what was important for me that I learned how, how, how the stage feels itself because for me it was never a difference if I play a concert or a competition in my in my mind and in my attitude to my performance because at the moment when you are on stage you're on stage and it doesn't matter if somebody is really co comparing you with somebody else at the moment or somebody is just enjoying music I mean for me it was never uh, I was never thinking about about this that now I have to play different because somebody is judging me that's for me that's not really right what is important if I'm on stage I perform and I mean the jury the members they're same same people as all other who is who is sitting and, and listening to, 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 to the music so uh, in a way for me it was also I, I it, it, it gave me this stage feeling because I have to say music leaves on stage completely different uh, than in, at home or at the practice place because the timing is different, the sound is, everything is actually <laughs> different so you have to get, get used to it, you have to feel it, you have to feel it inside and um, I think that's that also the competitions in a way they help me in, in, in this, to go in this direction. I have sometimes uh, heard that uh, it's more, uh, more uh, there's more positive things to lose than to win because when you lose you have to um, um, develop your skills and you have to come back to you and think over what was going wrong or w w what could be better. What do you think? You have won so many times. I think, I think for, for me in general, of course if you go uh, if you if you decide to to, to perform to take uh, part at the competition, you, of course, the, your inside wish, well, my inside wish is to win, of mm -hmm. course, because otherwise it doesn't make any sense to 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 play at the competition. What for? On the other hand, of course, 
well, everything can always happen, and it's definitely you can also learn a lot. Um, even not with not winning something, it's some sometimes it can bring even more. You're right, but sometimes, of course, it can also help when you feel that the way you play you play music, the way uh, the way you leave music, the people. People like like it, and this is, of course, something with a feeling which which is really makes makes very happy because it means that your music is needed, and music is people people enjoy it, and people want to hear it again. So this is, for me, maybe one of the most important points in general. Mm. So at least you have got a lot of opportunities after the competitions and uh, what kind of schedule you do, do you have uh, for the next months? Is there something very special to you coming? Well, what is really special coming is that I'm, I start next month with, the, my, with my new recital program with mm -hmm. a completely... Uh, some, some pieces will be completely new, like for instance, now I'm learning, I'm working on uh, French Overture by Bach. Bach, and this is a great, absolutely amazing piece, and I'm so excited that I will, I will play it so soon. And it, but on, the, on another side, of course, it's, it's a piece which really, which really takes, take, take, takes so much energy and so much, um, so much intellectual work is also required <laughs> it's so really actually so I find it so exciting that there are so many different types of music and you can always learn from different styles and then somehow use these things which you have learned in a completely different in completely different pieces and um, so as I said I start with a new recital program and I have of course several uh, orchestra performances and so it's always a combination between solo and orchestra. Okay, this is uh, streamed worldwide in internet. Could you please say some greetings in Russian to your Russian friends? Oh, at the end. <laughs> okay, I, I, I can try. Um, всем привет! Я передаю большой привет из Хельсинки, замечательный город. Надеюсь, что вам понравится концерт. Всего хорошего. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot.